Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, December 19th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. We do get quite a few of Word documents from our readers. And of course, the big question is initially always, is it malicious or not? Sometimes these Word documents are really just used for spam. So in the latest case here, the DA is looking at a document that we received from Carlos. DDA does a nice job in this two-part series looking at the document structure of these Word files and how to quickly triage them, how to figure out is this something worthwhile looking into deeper or is this something we should worry about or in this case, well, it's just spam, so probably nothing bad happening here. And with insecure deserialization making it into the OWASP top 10, we do see more work being done looking at various file formats and how they are deserialized. And thanks to Anna, who is currently actually taking the defending web application security class for pointing me to a blog post by Code White that is looking closer at the action message format, or as they somewhat jokingly call it, in this blog post, another malicious format. They're looking at a couple of different Java EMF libraries and find vulnerabilities in all of them. And while this file format is somewhat linked to Flash, it can be found in a number of products that are using these Java EMF libraries. Sadly, out of the three vendors that are affected here, only one Apache has a patch available. One of the vendors, Exadel, actually discontinued its library. And the third one, Granite DS and Web Orb for Java, actually hasn't responded yet to the disclosure. Now, looking over the different vulnerabilities, probably the worst issue here, and again, not that uncommon, sadly, for uh, these kind of libraries that within the file an attacker would be able to define Java classes that are then executed as the code is parsed leading to arbitrary remote code execution. And one issue with browser extensions is that these browser extensions, of course, do have full access to the content the browser provides, but also if not done correctly, web pages actually can interact with these extensions in an unsafe manner. This became evident uh, this week uh, with Keeper. Keeper is a password safe that has recently been included in Windows 10. It's not a Microsoft product, but Microsoft decided to bundle it apparently recently with Windows 10. This particular password extension does just that. It injects trusted user interfaces into the HTML of the page with that, that HTML becomes now intermingled and the malicious web page could potentially access data stored in Keeper. Keeper has fixed this problem within two days, I believe, and has released an update to all of its users. And Kaspersky came across a pretty interesting Android malware sample. They're calling it low API and it's interesting, well, because it's very modular and provides a rich selection of modules in order to perform various malicious tasks. There is a web spider in this. There is also a crypto coin miner. And sort of a unique feature or an interesting feature in this particular sample is that it does occasionally receive a list of applications that could possibly harm this malware. So that's, for example, antivirus. In order to get rid of this antivirus service, it actually will then pop up a dialogue for the user claiming that this anti-malware is actually malware and ask the user to uninstall it. Now, since this particular sample does behave rather aggressively, it executes a lot of code, it does mine crypto coins in Kaspersky's test after two days of running this sample on a phone, it actually ended up destroying the phone. 
In this case, it looks like the battery failed. So I guess they were a little bit too greedy with their crypto coin mining because I don't think they really intended that uh, given that they of course will use access and use of the compromised device. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.